Hey guys, this is Tim from dimdrive.com. We are going to test Team Fortress on a standard hard drive and then Team, Team Fortress 2 rather and then on uh, Dim Drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it and then we are going to test the time it takes to load the offline map and then we are going to do the same thing um, with the RAM drive. So right now this is the normal hard drive. You can see in the right we have a little timer. So let's get started. Training, getting started, select, start practice. Let's see how long this takes. It is loading the world right now, loading all the maps, loading whatever Team Fortress 2 needs to load. I think the install is uh, about 15 gigs in size. So 15 gigs in size, um, loading a bunch of maps. We're at 21 seconds and uh, chugging along here pretty good. This is what it normally feels like for me. It's almost done, it looks like. Almost done. There we go, 34 seconds, pretty easy. Uh, now let's just exit out of this and we are going to go into our dim drive here. We're gonna, I've already configured Team Fortress, I just need to hit the on button. So let's do that. And it is gonna set up everything and I'm gonna quick pause and unpause the video just to keep this a really fast YouTube upload. As you can see, it's transferring files pretty quickly, but we're just gonna pause it real quick. All right, so as we can see here, we're about 95% done. Just whipping through it really quickly and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the standard hard drive. Now, uh, with the way Dim Drive works, uh, just FYI, um, even though you can load some games uh, you know, directly from here, you can also load them directly through Steam. And just to keep this test uh, nice and standard here, we are gonna load it through Steam. Now I'm gonna show you uh, real quick that the game is in fact on my dim drive by going into, here let me show you, into my Steam install directory, common and then Team Fortress 2. We go to properties, it says that it's linked to the X drive. The X drive is lo and behold dim drive. So now because my Steam, my actual game files um, within the Steam install directory are on the dim drive, all I have to do is launch it just from Steam like I would any other game. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit play within Steam and uh, we can, oh, that already feels like that loads faster. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing, the offline test and we're gonna hit start and just see how quick it takes to, to uh, run it through. So training, getting started, select, and then start practice and hit the start. And we are just waiting for this map to load. And man, when Team Fortress 2 first came out, holy crap, I played this game non-stop. Non-stop. Wow, this is going really fast. This is a lot faster than I thought it would. Wow. Let me just close this. That is almost half the time from a normal hard drive. Um, I think I actually missed it by maybe about a second or a little bit less than a second. But anyway, um, from normal hard drive, 34 and a half seconds. Uh, dim drive, 18 and a half seconds. For, so almost twice as fast loading times. Now, um, just to make this video have a, one last thing, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a quick crystal disk mark. Uh, my, let's see, my Steam drive was F. Uh, we'll just do a quick um, 512K 100 meg test. So, yep, let's do this and we'll see what my F drive. Now my, um, to, be, to be fair, my standard hard drive is actually really good. It gets pretty decent speed uh, for a mechanical drive. And um, there's nothing on it. It's not doing anything um, at all right now. So it's just, you know, being a normal drive, kind of sitting there doing nothing. Uh, let's see here. It's got a lot of crap on it though. I mean, it's got 1.1 terabytes of data on the drive. So considering how much data is spread out within the drive to get the 61 to 6,200 megabytes per second for a platter mechanical drive, that's really good considering how much data I have. So um, now let's go to, I'm, I'm really happy with this drive too, but it's gonna get smoked here. Uh, I think we said X, yep. Um, and then let's do the same 512K 100 meg on the dim drive. So we'll see how fast this goes. Just doing a quick little benchmark just so we can kind of all see it within one video here.
and I haven't rebooted my system in a million years. I haven't, you know, done anything special. Um, I am recording a video. It's not on either of these drives, so that shouldn't slow it down, um, except the very top end. Um, and well, actually, I, I don't think it would slow very much down at all. So here we go. My my RAM is uh, really poor timings. I have 12, 12, or what is my RAM? Let's let me show you my uh, CPU Z. While I have twenty four megahertz. 2400 uh, megahertz RAM, my timings are really crap. So let's take a look here. Yeah, 10, 12, 12, 31. Um, you should get 999 RAM. Um, if you get 1600 megahertz and 999 RAM, you will smoke my RAM by a lot. Um, you'll get probably three to three and a half gigabytes per second faster if you get 999 timings and 16. 1600 uh, megahertz but anyway so that's uh, Team Fortress 2 and as you can see it is twice as fast twice as fast uh, loading that map and I'm pretty impressed so uh, thanks for watching this dimdrive.com video and I will make more videos and yeah so check out dimdrive.com as well as forums.dimdrive.com for our forums thanks for watching